All right, here's another video from Quidaddle, and today we're going to talk about that faction wars. And the one I'm going to show you right now is my Ogren faction, and I just battled some, so those are my recently used one. And here you can see I got three level one uncommon champions, no armor, and then I got a shield set on one of them. And then I got some other gear I had laying around, nothing too fancy, all level eights. And what you can see here is the sets of armor that I recommend on these particular, uh, for faction wars, the sets of armor is of course the shield and that gives you a plus 30% ally shield for three turns. And then if you have an AOE hitter, you wanna put on that maybe that 18% chance to put a stun debuff on them for one turn. That's pretty good. I only got one piece of armor, so none of mine have that in there. But as you can see, I did put Hunger in there. Now, Hunger, all of them have really no level ups on the skills. Even my Rare has no upgrades. I haven't ascended anybody except for a couple points to show that they are locked in and have some armor. Now the reason you want to do this is because you get rewards from the faction and that's going to be these glyphs and these glyphs can increase your defense. This one right here will increase it 1 to 1% for that. Here it's 4 to 5% on a standard defense point. So as you can see, working in the faction wars is going to be reward because here in the forge, it's pretty much the only place you can get some of this material from the faction wars. As you can see, I can only get this material from the faction wars. Now there might now this piece right here comes from the classic arena. So again, you can only you see that four of these pieces of armor that you can forge here in the forge only come from faction wars. So that's a reason to play in the faction wars. The glyphs are a reason. For the faction wars and then of course your challenge not your challenges i'm sorry your quests they require 12 faction keys to get one they require you to defeat a faction war boss to get another one and then they also require you to craft armor out of the forge and remember perception requires material that you get from the faction wars so there's three points and if you don't have any of them, that's actually a fourth point because you have to have all seven completed to get this, all nine, excuse me, quests to get this tenth point every day. So that's potentially one, two, three, four points for these daily quests for you to get these great rewards up at the top. And every 30 days getting this legendary book and these this five star chicken rare an epic book these are all great rewards so i want to show you that with those champions you can go over to faction wars with just those few champions hit start no aura skill and you can get this done every day and that way you can accomplish several of your tasks every day you can see they just come in and destroy them now, I like to do this because it gives me those glyphs. And if you need to make some adjustments in your armor by one point for speed, this is where you're gonna get that. So then you can speed tune your champions for Crucible and other key locations where you gotta get your order of attack uh, in, in the correct order. So as you can see, really not having too much difficulty in here. I couldn't get past stage three, so in the beginning you can only do so much, but again, this is what you want to go in here for. Now remember, when you attack in these faction wars, you're going to use one of the 12 keys that you got. And what that means is you only have those 12 keys that coincide with your 12 attacks. And if you only have one faction you can attack on, you can complete your advanced quests. And as you can see, I got some material for the forge. I got a glyph that slightly increases my accuracy substat. So after I complete all 12 of these, what you're going to see is 
I can get these quests down here done. There's 12 glip uh, crypt keys in faction wars. So there you go. All right, so we were talking about the equipment here. And as you can see, the shield set, I just want to give you kind of an instance why you would do this. So here on this shield set, it gives you a 30% hit point ally shield for three turns. And as you can see, the hunger has about 8,000 and so roughly he's going to get 2,400 point shield to all allies, including himself. So what I wanted to show you was when it comes to picking who's going to get it, and I'm just going to use the example down here from the uncommons, because you can get these through mystery shards or through playing in the, uh, you can farm them from the campaign. And it, it just a quick, this is if you race into level 60, uh, this brute has 14,000, the frostkin has 14,000, the old beard has 14,000, but the hunger, he's got 18,000. So it just shows you that because of some of the un, uncommon, or the HP champions, that he's got 18,000. So it's just showing you that he's got the 18,000 and he's the best when you come to choosing out of these four who you would want to have as the person who wants to wear, who wears a shield set. Now if you look at him, he's only got 14,000 even though he's a rare, but he's an attack type champion. So again, it benefits you to put it on the highest statistic HP champion of the faction. And then uh, we talked about possibly having, um, putting a stun set on a champion, and that gives you an 18% chance to put on a stun. Well, if you pick a champion that attack all enemies, attack all enemies, then what you have is, if you're attacking a faction, there's five people on the other team that you're going against. So when he attacks, that's five chances in either one of his attacks, plus a landing a heal reduction. So this gives you the chance to stun them and take them out for a complete turn. So these would be the type of people that you'd want to put on for the stun set. And another champion that's really popular is in, I believe, the Sacred Order, a common sister militant, and she just attacks all enemies. So there you have it. There's another good champion to put the stun set on for when you're getting into some of the battles. Just want to give you that example. Now, I had picked, uh, on this is another day, and I have this spawn, uh, demon spawn crypt faction, and I wanted to show you that with uh, just some level 20, 19, champions one star that means that they have equipment for me that means that they have equipment and they're locked in and they're the ones that i or they're uh they're locked in they have equipment and i've started to upgrade some of their skills and you can go over here and you can start this battle and you'll see that it doesn't take much to just get in there so you can get those 12 keys and finish some of those faction uh advanced quests so you can get your your dailies done and as you can see, these champions look like they might win. Nothing too fancy. I'm not, not winning a high level, but I am going to win my 12 keys by just push, putting in the time and putting together a small team, and that way you can be successful in all areas of the game. This faction didn't have the, uh, the stun set or the shield set, and I can still win you know, by only having four champions. And if you look at these champions that I was working with, they weren't that fancy. Some basic gear. I don't believe I have anything higher than 
level eight. Um, like I said, just some basic items. Some of the skills might have one upgrade. I think this is the best one of this faction. Yeah, this is the best one of the faction. Doing pretty good. So I just want to show you that it is possible to get into the faction wars. I'm only level 37, and I'm going to be able to complete those advanced quests so then I can get the most out of this game as possible. Thanks for watching.